Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. How are you doing Libra? Hope that you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are enjoying this change of weather, right? Spring is upon us or it's already here uh, and it's pretty exciting uh, giving us a close glimpse into what is to come, right? For summer. So uh, hope you guys are enjoying this time. All right, Libras, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2022. Spirits, what are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you guys can see, but my candle is throwing smoke. Um, and it's drawing me in. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be receiving a message that may come to you. A message that perhaps you weren't expecting. Perhaps at some point in your life, you were wishing or hoping to get that message, but I feel like it's been long in the making. So for some of you guys, it could be a person coming back from the past uh, that will be reaching out to you in this month of April. For others of you, I feel like you guys are ignoring the signs that Spirit has been trying to guide you or give to you. I feel like you guys um, may be dealing with a situation where you continuously keep uh, asking, hoping, or praying to get some type of clarity. And spirits are here to tell you, we've been trying to give you, we've been trying to give you advice. We've been trying to give you um, signs for some of you guys. It could even be signs you've been specifically asking for. Um, and I feel like there is a refusal on your part to receive or to see those messages. So there is a part of you that is still in denial about a certain situation. <clears throat> okay, let's get back into your reading. Those are the messages that just came through right now. So. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2022. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you guys uh, can get notified of the recent videos going up. For those of you guys returning, welcome, my lovelies. Let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what's going on here. Your first card is the Devil card. So for some of you guys, you may be uh, dealing with some type of Saturnian energy. It'd be a Capricorn or an Aquarius type of energy. For some of you guys, it's releasing or removing yourself from some type of toxic situation. The next card here is the Empress card. I see. So it could have been a situation that you've been dealing with where perhaps there was um, hopefulness in regards to a connection or some type of relationship or some type of, you know, uh, connection that you had where you were hoping that things um, were felt in reciprocation um so what i'm hearing for some of you guys is you kind of been in denial about a connection or relationship it's almost like you've forced yourself to see more than what it really is um for some of you guys it's almost convincing yourself it's kind of like the situation of uh, convincing yourself that you've met your soulmate or that you've met a person that um, is meant for you based on circumstance or perhaps how you met or perhaps what you guys have been through together, um, but completely ignoring all the other red flags. Um, so again, it, it's almost like trying to force a situation and trying to be in control of the situation or trying to control the partner or person of interest. For some of you guys, it could be the desire to want to change them. And though sometimes, um, you know, couples do have a tendency of doing that, um, suppressing the animal instinct of a person, meaning trying to suppress their true nature at some point will come up to surface. So it's almost like, how can you do this to me? Or how can you be this way or that way? When in reality, you knew from the very beginning, that's how they were. I feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with a situation that is outside of your control at this point in time. It's almost like spirits have been trying to guide you uh, on the path that you should be taking, but there's a refusal. There is something of a habit or something that you continuously keep doing when we're talking about love and romance um, that continuously keeps going in this never ending cycle for you guys. And then you sit back and you say, you know, oh God, why am I going through this? Or why do I always have to go through this? And what spirit is telling you is because you've made those choices. It's almost like being, being, being or having been put in a situation 
where they bring to you a, a good authentic connection. Um, and then they bring you someone that is temptation. And you always go for the temptation. You always go for what is most exciting or most appealing to you at that point in time. Can you really sit there and complain that it never goes anywhere when you know initially off the bat um, that the connection was based purely on the sexual or the physical? Do you see where I'm going with this? Now, the wheel of the year is often looked at something very, very positive. Um because the, the three cards and uh, we're doing four card readings for this month, um, I feel like there is a lot of things that you're going to be going through Libra. And I don't mean just now. I mean in the next coming two months um, because they are all major arcanas. Um, so this is outside of your control. This is out of your control. This is your astrological chart. This has to do with planetary alignments at this point in time. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a situation that brings you memories of about something in the past. For others of you, it could be essentially the past coming back. If you were dealing with a Capricorn in the past and you felt this incredible connection, um, but life happened or something changed, the dynamic of that connection with the Wheel of Fortune, oftentimes it can also represent everything being extremely good up in, at the top. Um, but then if you look closely, you see people falling off the wheel. So something that was very, going very good, all of a sudden changed completely. And for some of you guys, it could have essentially transformed your life. And it's almost like a scene of a missed opportunity, or again, like I said, a behavior, a trait, something that you continuously keep doing. Um, and what spirit is telling you is, uh, at this point, it's about closure. At this point, it's about learning from your mistakes. It is about putting in the work and realizing that it is time for you to mature Libra. I'm going to be honest with you, though some of the cards are positive, I feel like you guys are really going to be challenged in the next coming months. Now, the beauty in this is that you're going to be challenged because you've outgrown the habit or, you know, essentially the habit that you continuously keep doing. You've outgrown toxicity or toxic relationships. At this point, you should be embracing stability. And I feel like some of you guys, though, you may see it as something boring, right? Because what happens when we are in a very exciting relationship? The moment it gets too still, people start to get worried, right? Why are they acting very comfortable? Why is there no excitement? Are they cheating on me? Are they being with someone else? Um, without really realizing that when a relationship becomes a bit complacent at some point in time, doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Sometimes it just means that it is being grounded. Uh, and in grounding, it's routine, right? So it is up to us to maintain the passion or the desire in that connection, in that relationship. It's not just about getting comfortable and um, just sitting back and letting um, letting the lust and passion out the window. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is you've outgrown the situation at this point in time. And for the next coming two months, I want to say that uh, what they're indicating here, there is a major change. Whether you're ready or not, changes are going to be unfolding for you. And they're pushing you to grow. And they're pushing you to mature. And they're pushing you to believe in yourself and be confident in yourself to know exactly what it is that you want. Only in knowing that and in understanding that will you be able to get to that destination or to have what you've been hoping for or to experience what you're wishing for. Okay, my lovely. So again, if there is a situation that you're dealing with where uh, you're holding on to something that it was purely based on physical um, and in your head, perhaps you created some type of fantasy. It's time to let go of that if everything around you is being shown as red flags. It's time to uh, be grounded in your approach to relationships, partnerships, um, any connection really, even family with family and friends. Uh, sometimes we like to see the good in everyone. And though they do mistakes, um, which is something that everyone does at some point, uh, when do you get to the point of saying, you know, 
it's time I stop forgiving you for stupid mistakes because you keep making those stupid mistakes. Um, even if it's, like I said, dealing with loved ones and family members, sometimes you have to speak up um, and you need to not agree with them all the time uh, just because you love them. You have to be honest and, uh, like I said, be honest with them and with yourself, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.